The U.S. infant mortality rate is up for the first time in more than 20 years, and that's according to a report released by the National Center for Health Statistics. It found the overall infant mortality rate rose by 3 percent from 2021 to 2022. Let's turn things over now to Dr. Eileen Marty. Dr. Marty, this is very concerning. So after reviewing this report, what stood out to you the most? Well, I think several things stood out to me. Number one is the reason for the mortality seems to be tied with uh, complications in the mother and sepsis in the babies. It is a, uh, a problem that's seen primarily, in, based on the statistics, a change for white babies and people of Native American or Alaskan Natives. Those are the, the where we're really seeing a significant change, and it's mainly been little boys that we, where we're seeing this. Um, there's uh, speculation at this time as to why it may be happening. Uh, and of course, it may relate to the shifts in the towards the end of the pandemic, how uh, exposures were, the rise that we had for a time in RSV. Um, so there's a number of different infections that could have contributed to this. And we're looking at it very carefully right now to identify it. But the bottom line is, it is, the, it is the truth of what's happening right now, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be a trend that's going to keep on going in that direction. We're just going to have to keep monitoring this and do everything we can to lower it. Another thing that is noticeable from that report is that there were really only four states in the United States that had a truly significant increase in the rates of uh, infant mortality. Uh, Dr. Marty, obviously a lot of factors go into this, but as we've read about infant mortality rates, maternal mortality mm -hmm. rates as well, one of the things that always sticks out is that people suggest advocating yourself. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like a good idea in theory, but in practice, really, what could parents-to-be be doing in situations where they might be concerned about how their labor and how their birth plan is going? So I think, first of all, they should speak with their obstetricians and make sure that they're following the best uh, guidelines for nutrition uh, and uh, exercise that's appropriate for their stage in gestation. And, uh, and more than that, they have to be aware of what's circulating around them because as noted earlier, one of the reasons that we're seeing a problem is uh, an increase in something called sepsis, which is sort of a, a, a very nasty level of infection. Uh, and again, we're seeing it mainly, mainly in little boys, and we do know that the immune system of little boys is not always as uh, ripe as that of little girls, and therefore they are more at risk for these infections. So uh, taking measures to reduce their risk of acquiring an infectious disease during pregnancy is something that um, a pregnant mom can do to try and reduce the risk to the baby. And doctor, we have just about 15 seconds left. What is the most important thing for people watching right now at home that we can tell them tonight? So it's real, but it's a very small number. It's 3% rise, and hopefully with this information in hand, we can take measures so that this trend does not continue in an upward fashion. Dr. Marty, thank you for your insight. Always welcome.